Jordan and Tyler are teammates and partners on a relay race, and they're running on a curved track with a radius of 25 meters. We also know that Jordan's location is 153 degrees away from Tyler's. Now what we want to find is the distance on the track between the two runners. So let's go ahead and visualize that curved racetrack. And since Tyler and Jordan are in a relay race, they're spread apart. They're on different locations on the track, and they have to meet each other and pass off a baton. So let's call Jordan's location J and Tyler's location T. Now we already know that the radius of the curved portion of the track is 25 meters long. We also know that Jordan's location on the track is 153 degrees away from Tyler's. Now it's important to visualize that Jordan's going to have to run on a curved path along the track until he reaches Tyler and hands off the relay to him. So we don't want linear distance, we want curved distance, therefore we're going to use the arc length formula to find the length of arc JT. Now for the arc length formula, again here we just need two pieces of information. We need the measure of theta, the central angle, which you know is 153. And we need the length of the radius, which we know is just 25. So again, just substitute those values into the formula. Replace theta with 153. Replace r with 25. And then all we have to do is evaluate. So we can approximate the arc length between the two runners to be 66.8 meters on the track.